let's say we have a ceiling section that includes a furring and a shadow line and let's make a cross-sectional length of one meter for the ceiling with a furring at the center at 0.5 meters now our aim is to stretch the ceiling and at the same time it would also array the furrings now how do we do this let's first make this base ceiling a block now uh, let's call this for example a ceiling section and uh, be sure to click on the open in block editor then we select the block and then after we click on OK, it would automatically bring us to the block editor. Now again, our aim is to stretch the ceiling and at the same time, it would also array the furring. Now let's go back to block editor. Parameters. What are parameters? It tells what you want to do with the block. And then actions allows you to make it happen. It includes AutoCAD commands like move, scale, array, stretch, and rotate. Now the parameter sets are the combination of parameters and actions. Now let's go back to parameters. Then let's select linear. Then it would ask you to specify the starting point. Now this is the only clear region where stretch and array would happen. So um, we will click on the first point here and then the next point here. Now let's modify the parameter. Let's name the parameter run of ceiling. And then let's scroll down. And then let's check for the value sets. Then we select increment. Increments are the increase in value of length. So for example, this one, we are adding one meter increment as we stretch the ceiling. So we will put the value of 1 meter for the distance increment and for the distance minimum it would be the value of the minimum clearance. Let's measure this distance. Now let's put on the value that we measured and then let's say a 20 for the distance maximum and then for the number of grips let's put on one so we could only have one grip that we could select. Then after we hit escape Let's assign another linear parameter to the furring. And uh, for this example, let's put into the direct distance entry a value of 1 since, since there would be a 1 meter spacing for the furrings. Because we also want the distance to move at 1 meter. Now we will assign an action to the first parameter that will also link or change the first parameter to the second parameter. So that whatever we will do to the top label will also affect the parameter below it. And in this case, it's gonna stretch the ceiling and will also array the furring. To do this, we go to stretch command.
then we select the top parameter then we select the parameter point it's like telling which side we are assigning the stretch command to happen so we pick this point then it will say specify the first corner of the stretch frame now this is different from selecting objects but it looks the same it's telling which area would the stretch would happen be sure to include the first and second parameters after that it will now tell you to select objects this is the time that you select by crossing the area where we are going to stretch the object now we'll go to actions and then we select the stretch and then we select the second parameter and then at the property we select the chain actions and click on yes and then turn the number of grips to zero so no one could modify the current after we've done that, there is still a command missing and that is the array for the furring. Now, we scroll on to array on the actions and then we select on the second parameter and then it tells us to select the objects. So we will now select the furring. And I want the command line. It prompts us to enter the increment value for the distance or the spacings between the furrings. So we're going to type 1 now, which is telling that the spacing would be at 1 meter, and then enter. Let's now go to test block. Let's insert the block. And then let's click on the grip and then we now stretch the ceiling now we can see that we can stretch the ceiling and at the same time it reach the furring but what if there is a specific height for the furring we will need to include the stretching all the furrowings to reach a specific height requirement. Let's first go back to the block editor and then let's go back to parameters and then let's select again linear. Let's select the area where we would stretch the furrowings and in this case that will be from this point to this point now under the property labels let us rename this parameter to let's say um, furring height and then uh, let's look on the grips number of grips we could just make that to one so we could stretch only one direction now let's go back to action and then let's select stretch now we select this parameter and again we need to specify a parameter point to associate with this action so we will click on the top area because this is where the stretch would happen and then again we need to specify first and second corners of stretch frames so we will select by crossing this area because this is where the stretch would happen 
and then it would tell us to select objects. Now we will select the furry. Then we click on enter. Now let's test the block. Now we click on the grips and then this click on the grip on the foreign. Now there is an error because these objects should not be included on the stretch. We need to go back to the block editor. Now let's examine. When we selected the objects, this area should not be included. Now let's do this again. On the parameters, let's click on linear and then let's select the same point. And then again, let's rename the parameter. Ceiling height. And then we need only one grip. Now we go back to actions and then click on stretch and then select the parameter and then we again need to click on the upper area for the parameter point that would asso associate with the action and then now we again need to specify the first and second corner where the stretch would happen and now for the select objects we need to select only this portion and then we hit enter now let's test the block let us click on the grips and then we select now the grip for the furrings and then we will test if the stretch is right. Now we can stretch the furrings to any required height. Now we can insert the ceiling block to any section that would need ceiling line and uh, to any drawing that this block may apply. 